What is going on guys? There was a big update not too long ago and the uh, FR apparently got silent buffed. Now if you check the stats or you actually tried it out, you would have realized that, but you didn't and that's why I'm here. Today, we're going to show you this buff. We're going to talk about it and we're going to talk about the future of the FR. This gun was the best gun at some point in this game. It was extremely dominant. Can it get back to that level? Let's find out. As always, if you hate SBMM as much as I do, make sure to drop that like. Let's aim for 1,000. Let's go. Crossroads. We got it, baby. So here we are with some FR gameplay on Crossroads Hardpoint. Um, FR's nerf or buff, so to speak, is very, very good. It's definitely noticeable when you try to shoot people from range. I remember I was struggling very bad to shoot some people from range. But as you can see, it is a freaking hey, hey, team, dude. I'm rushing with a sniper. So can you. So a big thing when they nerfed the FR is they made the freaking horizontal recoil horrible. So that's something they decided to buff a little bit. But it was a silent buff. Nobody heard about it. Nobody knew about it. Um, It wasn't in the patch notes. It's one of those things where they're like, damn, we kind of messed up. We nerfed the gun way too hard, and we want to buff it a little bit to make it a little bit more viable. Now, the FR does have a little bit kick to it, so you got to be a little bit careful on using it, but it can still beam really well. Yeah, my teammate died up here. Gonna kill you. But back to what I was saying, the horizontal recoil got nerfed really hard, and that's what made it jump side to side. And if everyone knows that horizontal recoil is one of the hardest recoils to control. Dude, I feel so slow with this class setup. I got re so I got reinforced heavy on, which also loses slow down my ADS or movement speed and I have a field agent grip but the thing is about that far I mean you don't need reinforced heavy but it does help with time to kill a little bit at a certain range I ain't scared of you I'll come out and kill you myself if I have to haha <laughs> you didn't expect that haha <laughs> you didn't expect that I can't even hit you oh I got you wait no my teammate got you reload so the thing about the FR, it got this very bad nerf, like I said earlier, that went, the horizontal recoil basically went from like to 100. No, it went from like 70-ish to like 200, like some absurd recoil. See you later, JD. See you later, Epic, with your shotguns. 11 bullets, all I need. That's all I need. That's all I need, baby. So basically in the silent buff, what they did, if you did not know, is they lowered the recoil pattern by about 30, uh, uh, nah, yeah, I'll say about a good 30-ish um, with the horizontal recoil. So now the horizontal recoil is definitely better and easier to control. Look at this. And you can notice it when I use it, and you can notice when you play with it. Like, the horizontal recoil is a lot easier to control. And obviously, like, that's a good thing. Like, the FR becomes way more uh, valuable and, like, viable. So, if you if you wanted to use the FR at some point... Oh, what the? Haha. <laughs> Haha, <laughs> screw you. Haha, <laughs> I win. I win. Good fight. Haha. <laughs> I'm running actually low on ammo here. Oh, baby, baby. That's my FR right there, baby. That's, that's my baby right there. Now, the next question is, will pro players be using this gun, or will it stay away from the meta? I made a video not too long ago. Look at them beams, man. It's way easier. But I made a video not too long ago talking about um, the FR and saying how, like, it, yeah, it could be to jump into the meta, but it's very important that it receives um, a little bit of a buff. So here we are with this buff. Um, the problem is in this meta right now, it's very break heavy, and the crit shoots very straight. And even though the FR received this buff, and it's very, like, it's a lot better with the recoil pattern, it's, it's still, it still lacks, right? So I'm going to show you guys something really quickly. The horizontal recoil is now at 168. Um, with attachments, they used to be about 180-ish, 190, even with like the horizontal recoil reduced attachments. So you can definitely see there's a difference about 20 to 30. I don't know the exact numbers, but there is a difference. And you can tell when you shoot the gun in general and when you play, you can tell. Good try. You're not killing me today, buddy. That's how I like to say pro player after here. I don't know why I've been skipping today servers are horrible can we get some likes for sbmm so will the fr come back into the pro player meta it's a very interesting topic right now um i feel like the fr's buff made it a lot better and it's definitely like usable but the problem is the meta like i said is the krig and as long as it's the krig i just don't see it you know 
dominating the crate with the rain. Now, the FR is like my favorite gun. One of my favorite guns on this game and one of my favorite guns in general, bro. So I really hope it becomes meta. And I would love that because when it was the FR meta, like it was so weird because everyone was running it. But at the same time, it made it so fun. So I would love for that to happen. But let's see what happens, right? It might, it might not. This guy actually jumped down. What a beast. He got scared. Oh, he got scared of me. Lordy. 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 And it feels effortless, man. Compared to what I had to use before, man. Like, you see how, like, easy I'm popping kills and piecing and, like, beaming? Like, bro, when I used the, when I made the video for my... Oh, my oh, God. No. So easy to use. So easy. When I made the video, my last FR video... What? What happened there? I got you, baby. When I made like, my last FR video, man, I, I, I did struggle a range of times. You guys noticed it. Um, it's just, it's so much easier, man. Like, obviously, there's still that random horizontal recoil where it does hurt the gun a bit and it's hard to control. But, like, over, overall, like, it's easier, man. It's, oh, you guys got to try it out. You got to try out this class. This is going to be a topic for another day, but I'm probably going to eventually talk about SBMM on this channel. And overall, yes, I do hate it. I dislike it. Um, especially as a, as a, as a big pub stomper, I'm not a fan of it. That's all I will say about it. And if you are, if you feel the same way, make sure to leave a damn like. If you do not like SBMM. And my teammates aren't even getting healed. Like, screw you, SBMM. Play OBJ, teammate. Yeah, stay, stay there. Stay there. Stay there. So I, could, I could gun the... So, at the end of the day, like, I'm really happy with these silent buffs. And I just wish they would make them public. Like, the fact that they do it and then don't even say anything. Like, look how easy. Dude, that beam felt so effortless, man. Like, I'm telling you... Uh, this buff is not a it's it's not a like a, um what's that word called freak i can't remember that word that specific word not a side effect a placebo i mean you guess you can say placebo like it's not a placebo it, it you can check the stats it, it has been silently silently buffed and when you actually use the gun it, you definitely beam a lot harder like I, I don't know if you're noticing this gameplay like some of these kills i get like from far like Oh wait, they're, they're all shooting at me. It's a lot. It's a lot easier now. Like, it, like I use this gun a lot, especially recently. And trust me, some of these kills used to be extremely hard. And now, like, look at that. Like, look how fast. Like, like I missed like a bullet there because, like, the end of the day, like I said, the, the recoil is a little bit difficult to control. Dude, this guy is super baiting. He's gonna sit there. Oh my god, bro. Like, chow me. I'm really happy with the silent buff, but yet at the end of the day, I think for the, for the FR to become meta, I think it still needs a little bit more, like a little bit more of a buff. Nice. Guys, I want to give a quick shout out to all you beautiful, amazing people that always join support in my videos and like my videos. I'm trying my best while competing and producing some great content for you guys. So I do appreciate everyone who watches my videos, who leaves likes in my videos, who, who comment down below, who talk with your boy. Appreciate all that, man. Thank you so much for all the love, guys, as always. We're going to end this game here. The SBMM almost had me. Almost had me. I'm not going to lie. It was looking a little bit slow. No, what? What? The smoke mess of my throttling. SBMM almost had me, but I am better than SBMM. Now, honestly, luckily, I had some decent teammates if you know, my teammates weren't the best. SVM definitely would have probably destroyed me. <laughs> but either way, guys, make sure to leave a like in the video. Try out this FR class. It's going to be right now. I'm going to leave the class at the end of the video very quickly for you guys to try out. This gun is truly amazing, man. It's so fun. My teammates don't want to kill What? He's AFK. Yeah. That's the fuck, man. I got more coffee on Instagram. What's the Instagram? What the? Old ass man. Hey, I'm going 23 and 38. Okay, guys, we're back. Let's do this class out of real quick. So for the optic, I don't really like optic scope. I feel like it helps control the recoil a bit, but now that the recoil got lowered, I prefer the iron sight overall. For the muzzle, we're just gonna be running straight up muzzle break. Okay, we don't want to negatively impact um, the horizontal because the horizontal is the bigger problem here. 
so you can see i all these you know lower the horizontal or increase it in a way pretty much so we're just gonna run basic muzzle break here so we don't really we get a little bit vertical recoil control but we don't hurt the horizontal we're gonna be using the reinforced barrel for the damage range and bullet velocity both really important things if anything you could try just use the ranger um but i think the reinforced barrel is pretty damn nice we got the steady aim laser we got the field agent grip this is mandatory because it gives you five more percent horizontal recoil the only thing about this class it feels kind of slow but the beams are a lot better than what you can you know you can have uh we got the 34 round the airborne elastic wrap and then the raider stock all these these two last attachments for ars are basically no-brainers almost every single time so this is the class setup guys i hope you enjoyed today's video like i said make sure to leave a like and i'll see you in the next one man peace out